Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you need IT consulting, go to WillieHow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. What we're going to talk about tonight is the UDM, or more specifically, UDM, UDM Pro, or the Unify Cloud Key Gen 2s, anything that's running Unify OS. We're going to talk about SSL certificates, what SSL certificates they have, and how to install new SSL certificates. So let's get into it. The first thing that you're gonna to need to do is I buy all of my SSL certificates from SSLs.com and uh, I bought one um, uh, today and I made it for udm.willyhow.com which is not available in the outside world, it's only available in the lab. And um, what we're going to do is I, I keyed this earlier. I was playing around with it. So we're actually going to rekey it, but we are actually, when I rekey it, is going to be exactly how you're going to key it from the get-go, right? So real quick, let's talk about our UDM or our Unify OS device. So this is my UDM base and is running uh, Unify OS. It actually has two, at least two different SSL certificates. Now the first one, you're gonna notice this is uh, the internal URL for this. If I pull this up and I look at the certificate, you can see it's issued to unify.local. So we're gonna be able to replace this certificate and the other certificate. Where's the other certificate, right? So believe it or not, this still uses the Java key store. And we're not even gonna SSH into this at the moment. What we're gonna do is we are going to use a win, um, win SCP, and we're just gonna create a key store and we're gonna copy it over. It's, it's really gonna be that easy. But real quick, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unplug my network and I am going to connect to the guest network and it's gonna come up and I've got, so I've got the guest network enabled, so this is, more often where we're gonna see uh, an SSL certificate used is on guest portal and things like that. So I'm gonna open the login page and Firefox, this is port 8843. And so when we look at this certificate, um, you can see that this one is already udm.willyhow.com. I forgot to, uh, to delete that when I was messing around, figuring out what the easiest way to do this, but usually this is just gonna say ubiquity here. So this is exactly the process that you are gonna to use to um, go about replacing this. So I'm gonna disconnect from this. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna head over to your SSLS.com account. You're gonna buy the $8 cert, the cheapest one that there is. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reissue and I'm gonna rekey this. So this is what this is gonna look like. Uh, when you come up and you originally buy it, it's gonna ask you. And so I'm gonna say udm.willyhow.com. And what we're gonna do is you can get an, an, it is gonna give you the private key and the cert. So we're gonna go onwards. We're gonna create the CSR in the browser. So we're gonna hit save key zip. And we are now downloading the key, we're gonna go onwards, and we're gonna receive an email, and this will be host master, and we're gonna hit submit. Now, I'm gonna go through this verification process real quick, I'm gonna get the cert, and we'll be right back. Okay, so I now have the key file, and I also have the cert zip. So I'm going to just extract the key to its own folder, and I'm going to extract the um, certificates here. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna edit these in Notepad++ because we're actually gonna combine these. So there is the UDM, uh, and then here's our bundle. So we're gonna edit this. So what we're gonna do is we're actually going to copy the entire bundle And we're gonna paste it in after our certificate. And we are going to, and we are going to save this. So now it is one big 
file. Then what we're going to do is you've got to have, uh, well, to do both steps, we've got to go one step further. We've got to create a, a Java key store. So what we're going to do is we're going to fire up a program called Key Store Explorer. And we've got, we've got all of our files here that we need. And so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new key store, and it's going to be a, J a Java key store, JKS. And once this is open, what we're going to do is we're going to click uh, Tools and Import Key Pair, and it's going to be the PKCS number 8. We're going to uncheck Encrypted Private Key. We're going to hit Browse here, and we are going to browse to our key, and then we're going to browse to that certificate that we just made. and we're gonna hit import. And here we're gonna call this alias unify, and we're gonna say okay. Now it wants to know a, uh, a password, and the password is air control enterprise, all lowercase, no spaces. And the key, the key pair uh, succeeded, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna save this, and it's gonna ask us for a password for the key store. And the same password, that we just put in for that key pair is uh, what we're going to set as the Java key store password. So that's air control enterprise, all lowercase. We're going to say OK. We're going to save this right in our uh, downloads folder as key store. And so that now the key store is done. Now all we have to do is get it onto the UDM and then reboot the UDM. So that's what we're going to do here. So we're going to go to WinSCP, and it wants me to upgrade, but I'm going to do that later. So we're going to drop this down to SCP. We're going to go 192.168.2.1, and you have to have SSH enabled on the, uh, the UDM or the, the Unify OS device. So if you don't have that um, done, then you need to look at the video where I tell you how to enable that and make sure you have SSH enabled. I have to wait. I forgot to reconnect to the Wi-Fi here. See if we're connected. Yeah, we are connected. So we'll uh, go back to this. So we will connect. Yes, we agree. So what we're going to do uh, this is the UDM over here. We're going to go up. We're going to go to the data folder, unify, data, and then here's the key store file. So we are literally going to just drag our key store over. We're going to say yes. And now to make that active, we need to reboot uh, the UDM. However, there is one more um, SSL certificate. And it is under uh, data unify core config. And that's what is the SSL certificate for that main, for the main unify landing page, right? So you've got unify core and unify core key. So what we're going to do here is we are going to create a directory and we're going to call this backup. Maybe. And what we're going to do is we're going to drag these in here. And then what we're going to do is we are going to grab our, our uh, cert here and drag it over. And then we're going to go one more back to our key. And we're going to drag the key over. And then we're going to rename these. Uh, unify unif, unify-core. And then this has got to have a whole rename done here. So it's going to be um, uni unify core da dot key. Make sure I name those correctly. Oh, where'd our files go? They disappeared, but that's, that's the name of them there. And so now what we've got to do is we've got to reboot the uh, UDM. So we're going to do that real quick by SSHing into it. All 
All right, we got the little ding, so we're reconnecting. And now what we're gonna do And so now you can see that we have the padlock for udm.willyhow.com. We gotta put this in. Should prompt me for a 2FA code. And now uh, here is that landing page, but real quick, I'm gonna hop onto the guest Wi-Fi, And we'll see that that um, we'll see that that certificate is also now changed and we could do a full configuration of the guest services with that. So we're being redirected to the login page, put the FQDN in there. You'll see that we get the connection page. Um, and so we can get into, uh, if you want to see videos on how to configure the captive portal and all that stuff, put it down in the comments, but that's it. So it was really that easy to do the SSL certificates now on a Unify OS device. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe, please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Those links are down below. If you'd like to support the channel by using our affiliate links, they are all down below. They don't change your price, but they do kick a couple bucks to the channel. Need that IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.